Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are making a face recognition system using OpenCV. So let's look the demo first. So here's the demo. So you can see uh, my page and create a rectangle here and above my page you can see my name. Okay. So in this tutorial we are going to make this one. So let's press Q. Okay. So it will go on. So I already coded it here in my sub text. So let's get started. So here are the three files. Okay, so first one is for data collector. I mean data collector py. So it will help you to collect data from my pages. And another one is a test file and and it is the training file. Okay. So and inside this folder we have two folders. So first one is the data set and the second one is the recognizer. So now so you can see here uh, inside my data set there is some picture of mine okay so there is some picture of mine okay so i already took it here so let's delete it right now uh, delete folder delete okay and make new one let's clear make new folder so let's say data set okay so inside this data set, we are storing all the data. Okay. So here is the code for it. And first we have to detect our face. So that's why we are using the cascade classifier. So first we have to import CB2 module and we have to make a cascade classifier object. And we are reading this uh, her cascade for under default.xml file. And you have to put here some one ID. So by using this ID, we can uh, detect the faces of this ID person. Okay, and we also create a video capture of it. So, which one uh, help you to uh, create a video frame? And we put here zero because we are using our initial camera. I mean, um, our PC camera. Okay, and I put here a variable and name is count because we are counting the uh, number of picture. Okay. So we create a loop, so while loop, there it is. And we create, we read the video from our frame. So we put here a check and a frame. So check will give you a Boolean value. So if the Boolean value is one, so it will reading the frame. I mean reading the video from the frame. Then we are converting our image into a GraphQL image. So that's why we're using the cb2.cbt color. So cb2 has a built-in library called cb2.cbt color. And inside this color, we have to um, put some parameter so first parameter is the, our image so in my case it's frame and we uh, we are converting this frame into a gray scale because we are getting image as busier format so that's why you are converting the gray scale image then we are detecting our face using the detect multi scale format method and inside this method you have to put here uh, gray scale and some ratio and five put here so you can see here reference from test run. okay and now we are creating rectangle over my over our face. Okay, so that's why there are some coordinate for x coordinate, y coordinate, and h coordinate and w coordinate. So we are alternating all the values from the faces. So that's why we put here a loop for x, y, h, and w in faces, and we are counting the faces. I mean number of faces from here. So that's why I initialize the variable here. Okay, now. Uh, it's time to uh, write our data from here. So CB2 have a built-in library called cb 2imread and we are use, we are writing the image from our in our dataset folder. So that's why I put here dataset and a name like user, and we are converting our IDs as a one because we already um, input from user. So that's why I put here one and dot and the count number of the count. Okay, number of the count of the images it is. And you are converting as a string because in mbrite em write method you have to put here some string format and you are converting the JPG image and a graph kill image because we are uh, we are trying to cut the image okay for example if I uh, open my paint paint and try to understand this logic so you can easily uh, get it why should you put here a gray uh, like this one gray y dot y plus is okay so, for example, it is our face, it is our frame. So, inside this 
uh, frame uh, let's say this is our face okay okay like this one i'm not explaining art okay so in her case study it will help you to detect your faces there so now we are cutting down the faces and store into our data set folder okay data set folder okay so cutting those those faces okay and store in a data set folder so that's why we put here this one condition so gray means because we are converting our image into grayscale format then we are cutting this image of the detecting detection part then save it into a data set folder and create a rectangle over here okay create a rectangle over here inside the faces okay and finally we are uh, showing our frame using the cb2.im shoe then put here a white key okay and it, it already back after it will collecting 15 uh, images okay and finally you release our video and cb2 to destroy will do and collecting sample complete okay so if you run this program for control b okay so enter your id so let's put here one so it will open webcam okay you can see here webcam so it will collect in my data of my faces okay so after collecting 15 picture it will be black so you can see here there are 50 images of mine okay okay so so now we are collecting our data so now it's time to uh, train our model okay so let's get started so here is our training file so first we have to convert uh, we have to import cbt module then we are going to import numpy because we are making some multi-dimensional uh, what do you call multi-dimensional operation so that's why we're importing numpy and you also input here fail because we are dealing with some images and we also input here with because we have to uh, iterate all the uh, picture from our data set so that's why you have to put here import os for operating system and you can see here recognize that equal to cb2 dot face dot l b p h face recognizer dash grid so it is algorithm so there are the various types of algorithm in OpenCV. So which one help you to uh, recognize your faces? So there are various types of uh, face recognition exam, uh, algorithm. For example, there are a uh, algorithm called uh, Egan face. It will invented in uh, it was invented in 1991. Okay, 91. And this one L B P H face recognition is the algorithm so it is stand for local binary pattern histogram it also help you to detect your faces not a detect actually it will help you to recognize your faces then there are some algorithm called feature face and shift algorithm uh, surf algorithm shift stand for scale invariant feature transform it also help you to detect uh, recognize your face and also have surf so surf is the latest will invented 220 I think 220 or 226 okay okay so let's take some comment algorithm name algorithm okay so first one is the egan faces okay invented on one or uh, 91 and the second one is our l b p h so it is 10 for uh embedding in on 96 and l b p h 10 for uh local local binary pattern histogram is to we call his two gram okay and the third one 
is the Fisher face invented in 1997. And the fourth one is the Swift algorithm invented in 199. And the latest one is Surf algorithm. Okay, so all the algorithm will help you to recognize your faces. Okay, so there the algorithm and the face recognition in OpenCV. So you can easily uh, detect your not a detect actually you recognize your face using those algorithms. So we have to put here uh, the path of this uh, data set folder. So that's why I'm making a variable of path. So and you can put here a data set. Then we are uh, creating, a, I mean, define a function so which can help you to train our model. So now we have to iterate all the images from our dataset folder. So that's why I am uh, writing a list comprehension. So you can see here for app in os.list and path. So first it will put all the values from our path. That's me dataset and it will list the images and it will put into the variable of app. After put into the variable app, it will join and make some list of the picture, okay? Then we have to uh, create some empty list for faces and IDs. You can see here level falsely and face for you can see here a feature, okay? okay? And ID is for levels. So you are iterating all the values, I mean all the uh, name of the picture into the image path. Then we are opening our image path, okay? And we are converting this in L format. And now we have to convert our image into a NumPy array. So why should array? Because image are actually stand in a NumPy array, okay? So we have to convert our image into a numpy array. So let's say put here a np dot array. So inside this parameter, you have to put here the face images, this one, and ui and the edge. That's all. And now it's time to collect all the IDs of our images. So you can see here data set uh, user one one dot. So what it actually mean? So you can see here user one dot one dot one dot jpg so this is the id number okay one is the id number so we have to get this id number from these images so you can see here us dot path dot split so we are splitting the data splitting the image path for example if i take this image data says data set slash slash user dot one dot one dot jpg so first it will go to the last of the portion of our images that's mean uh, from here and it will splitting the data until it will get the dot of the position number one so that's mean is the position number zero and the position number one so before this position number you can see here one so that's mean is the id of the picture so and i will store this uh, value into a uh, id and now we have to convert it into integer format because we are splitting the data from our uh, string format so that's why you have to convert it into a what do you call in integer format then we append our faces in our faces list and we append our ids from our ids list and finally we are uh, showing our training and white key put here a white key and this method will return you ids and faces and we call this call this method here okay and train this one using those train uh, method inside this method you have to put here the faces and we are converting our ids also in a numpy array so first we are converting our image into a numpy array then we are also converting our IDs in a NumPy array and put into our train method. So it will train and write a YML file in our recognized folder. 
So you can see here a recognizer folder inside my facial recognition folder. Okay. So after training, it will uh, give you a training complete message and cb 2 destroy all into. Okay. So if I run this program for control D, so you can see here it will training all my images. Okay. Okay, so you can see here the IDs and training is complete right now. Okay, and you can also see here those uh, picture of it. Okay, so I print it over here. I think you can see here. What is here? Okay, so print. So you can see uh, first it will um, convert our image into first it will iterate all the images from our uh, data set directory. And it will make a list of it. Okay. Then after uh, getting all the data from our image path, and we are converting into a large format, and converting this image into NumPy array. So after uh, converting our image into NumPy array, we are, we are splitting the uh, IDs from our images name. I mean images directory image, and we are converting this one in the integer format. Then we are appending all the data of our face into the faces list and append all the data from our heights list. Then you are uh, put here a MSU method which will help you to show this one. So after uh, you can see return IDs and faces and after you have to call this method here and we are converting our IDs also in NumPy array and, and save our model into a recognized folder. Okay. And finally we give here a printing combat okay so now it's time to test our model so here you go so here's our test file so you can see there's a test file so first we have to um, import our cb2 module and a numpy array because we are dealing with some multi-dimensional array because in our training uh, you can see here we already uh, convert our images and the IDs in a numpy array. So that's why we have to import numpy array also in here. Then we are detecting our faces. So that's why you are using cascade classifier and a video capture object because we are uh, going to use this one in real time. And you have all um, you have to also be use this lbf lbf face recognition dot create. Okay. So it will help you to uh, recognize your faces. Now it's time to load our model. So recognizer dot load. So we are uh, creating an instance of this LBPH uh, recognizer to create algorithm, and we are reading this training dot YL file. That's in our model, and we put here IDs at initially as zero. Okay, and that's let's and getting for that not over here. So now it's time to uh, create a loop. So while loop, so put here while true, and reading our video from our video frame, video capture frame. So and we are converting our image into a GraphQL format because in our data collection, okay, you can see here we are already converting our image into a GraphQL format, and LBPS is also work in a GraphQL image. Okay, you can see a local binary pattern. Histogram. Okay, then we are uh, detecting our face from our video. Uh, what do you call? Not this one. Uh, testing here. Okay, then we are detecting our uh, faces from here. Okay, using this uh, detect multi scale method. Inside this parameter, you have to put here query scale image and ratio and file. And now we are creating rectangle in our what our faces. Okay. So that's why I put here a rectangle here, uh, x comma y and x plus a when y plus a and a color name, okay. And we are uh, creating some like this one, okay. This our rectangle, okay. Let's see this one. This our rectangle, okay. This our rectangle, and in what this rectangle we are creating another rectangle here okay another rectangle so inside this rectangle we put here a name let's say my name okay and we are trying to uh, what do you call cover it as a uh, red color 
okay so this one so you can see here so we are first uh, creating the rectangle here so that's mean uh, this one first we are creating this one that's mean creating first this one then creating another rectangle here so cb to the rectangle inside the rectangle we put here a frame and x comma y minus 14 x plus y and comma y and the color name and minus 2 so minus 2 means it will be filled so there, and we are creating another rectangle like this one and we put here minus 2 that's mean it will be filled let's say this one uh let's say brush brush which one is one okay it will feel like this one okay okay so it is a rectangle we already uh, make it in the first and after we are uh, making another rectangle this one and it will be thin okay now it's time to recognize our uh, faces so that's why you here predict so ideas it will give you uh, two value so first one is the id and the another one is the what do you call Confs, conf is the uh, is stand for like um, what do you call confidence. Okay, so it will give you two values. So first one is the IDs and second one is the confidence. And we are predicting our value. So that's why you put here gray y dot y plus is x dot x plus is. That's mean you can see here inside my training or testing okay. data collection. Okay, so you can see here gray y dot y plus in and x dot x plus is. If. so that's mean we will cut the image i mean it cuts the image from our from our uh, frame okay so that's mean it from, uh, from our frame and it will put into the predicted okay put in the predicted that's mean you can see here after uh, the video frame will pop up so it will cut this one okay cut this uh, like this this page okay i mark it here this page and put into in our recognizer okay what is in our recognizer in our recognizer and is try to predict these faces and it will give you an id and confidence so you can say uh, if id equal equal one so this is me it's my name. okay and we are uh, give a put text over here okay so it's a cb2 dot put text and frame so now we, are, we have to convert our uh, ids in a string format because we put here a put text so put text on the get string format not a integer format and we put here uh, some coordinate x coordinate and y coordinate and the font so we already uh, declare it here so cb2 has some building uh, font let's say font okay somewhere so for font harsh simplex they have some complex also be okay so i'm trying to use this one simplex okay and i put here some color of our our text and put your thickness three okay and finally your detect our uh, faces from our frame and put here a white key so if i uh, press q so uh, this loop will be back okay so now it's time to uh, check our program if it will run properly or not so if i um, press ctrl b okay so the webcam will open okay now it will open so you can see here my faces so where my faces my names okay you can see here okay so my face is here okay so it will recognize my face profoundly so if you train uh, some even the images of your of your friends or your parents also be okay it will recognize easily okay all the method are same just you have to put here some another id so in my case i put here one so that's mean id one is already used okay if i put here two okay for another images so it will put here on the two so that's why you have to put here some condition here so let's press here q okay 
So if I collect in for, uh, from some data of our friend, okay, for, so that's we have to run our program and control B. So you have to put your ID number two, like this or three, whatever you can. So let's call it right now. So after giving this true, you have to train your model. Then in testing, you have to put your some condition here. If ID equal equal one, let's say if I training another picture of my friend, let's say ID equal equal two, uh, ID equal, and you have to put here this thing. Okay, let's say my brother name. Yeah. Okay. So it will uh, recognize uh, your friend name also. Okay. So here's the tutorial. Hope you will enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update.